Okay, video number three for Unit 6 of BTEC Nationals IT from PIC Computing. And in this video, it's supporting tools and environment for software design and development. First, we're going to talk about this thing called the IDE, Integrated Development Environment. Now, the IDE is basically the software that you use to make your program. And it's got various bits and pieces in uh, as part of the IDE, Integrated Development Environment. And the first one we're going to look at is the form editor. So this is where you draw out your software using tools from the toolbox. You can make your form smaller, bigger. Uh, you can change colors of anything on there and fonts and whatever you want it to do any sort of behavior with it using the properties window over here on the right hand side so that was the form editor the editor the second thing in the list is where all the code lives so you can flick to code using the tabs there or by double clicking on objects on your form to take you to those events within the code the third thing in the list is debugging now Debugging might be things like if I've got a, a command spelt wrong like I have there and I try and run my program, it's telling me there's an error, so that's part of debugging. But if that error wasn't there, debugging is still very useful. It allows me to do something called putting breakpoints on code, which is that little red dot I've, I've put on by clicking on the left hand side there in the grey bar, and it just means that when I run my code and interact with the program in the way I'm supposed to basically the program code runs but stops at the point I put the breakpoint on and I can hover over things and I can see that in the my text box which is called txt username I've got the text Terry which is what I typed in there so I can actually follow my code through and if I press F8 to my keyboard it jumps to the next place it should go and I can see that the password box has got no text in it text equals blank quotes therefore it's going to drop down onto the error message that I've put in it says you must enter a password and by doing that I can sort of see where my code um, is going and what I might have done wrong when I filled out my form so that is part of debugging the last thing in the list here is something called the compiler now a compiler is used to create what is called an exe file so that my program can be used on somebody else's computer somebody who might not have the IDE on their computer now in the free versions of vb.net there is no compiler so I can't make an exe but in a version of vb6 that I have um, if I click on file I can go to make login.exe and that basically makes a program that could distribute to other people. So if I click on that, and you can see it's going to make me a file called login.exe. I can click on options and set details such as version numbers, etc., and things like company name. So that's the compiler. Another supporting tool for programmers is something called case tools this stands for computer aided software engineering these help to design the layout and flow of procedures functions or objects before any code is even written by a programmer case tools do this by creating diagrams such as structure charts data flow diagrams or entity relationship models so a case tool might start to look a bit like that once it's starting to be used and really helps to map out the design of software uh, and is, is case tools are often used by large companies creating complex and large pieces of software. Bye for now.